What's going on everybody? My name is Khalil and welcome back to Iman Invest. Before I dive in into today's video, I just want to give a quick shout out to everyone who watched our last video. If you haven't yet, that's perfectly fine. I'll make sure a link pops up somewhere on the screen so you guys can check that out. The video is doing way better than we ever could have imagined it and we hope you guys are enjoying the content. So again, thank you if you guys have watched that and thank you for supporting the channel. Secondly, anything in this video or any future videos, guys, is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Please talk to a professional in your area before you invest. This is all for education and entertainment purposes only. Third thing, if you're looking for somewhere to invest, I have put a link down below to the platform that I use, Webull. If you deposit $100, you get two free stocks. I get some free stocks. It helps out the channel, and you get to invest where I invest. I like Webull. I like their platform. They just did a new update, and it's amazing. It's where I do all of my investing and all of my trading, so I'll make sure that link is down below just in case you guys want to check that out. But with that said, let's get into today's video. And first, something that's totally not related to the video, I got a few comments and questions about the TV in the background being off-centered. Guys, I promise we're not psycho. We moved the TV a little bit to the side, throw some decorations in there. I didn't think you guys would catch it, but obviously you guys are paying attention to the videos, which is great. But with that, clean energy. To comment on our last video, I said the stock was going to explode. Guys, the stock consolidated today. It's seen a little pullback this morning, a little scary, but after hours, it's up 20%. If you got in around $10, $9 or so, you're up 20 to 22%. And remember what I mentioned last time about that $13 call, the whole gamma squeeze thing. I'm still holding shares here and I think shares are the safer play, but what I'm gonna do tomorrow is see if we can get to 13 or above $13. See how things are acting there and I'll start looking a month or two months out for a contract, probably the $20 call. Again, manage your risk, don't oversize this, don't chase, don't FOMO. Options are a little riskier. If you don't know what you're doing, shares are always a safer play. My price target still remains the same end of year, 18 to $20 range is I think where we can end up at the end of the year, which from this price point is about an 80% return depending on where you got in. That's a good return on your investment, guys. And guys, what's up with these meme stocks? Meme stocks are running, highly shorted stocks are running. The percentage gains that people are seeing are insane. Me and the Discord swung some Clove and Workhorse calls into today. I also shared that on my Twitter. The Clove calls went from $1 to 8 The Workhorse calls, I believe, went from like $1.50 to like 3 Again, if you're not in the Discord, I'll make sure that that link's down below so you guys can check that out. I share all of this in the Discord. You guys can play it at your own risk. But with that, I don't think the meme stocks are done just yet. We're seeing high volume, contracts being bought left and right, multiple runners. So in this video, I'll kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm looking at, my favorite meme stocks going forward, how you should play these, how I'm going to play these, and all of that good stuff. And for those that aren't aware what highly shorted stocks are and what this means and how this can contribute to a stock running, let me give you a quick breakdown. So say I have GameStop and it's 50 bucks and I'm a hedge fund and a hedge fund is anyone with big money, a big investor, and say I think GameStop's gonna go down to $10. I can sell GameStop shares at $50 at the current price to an entity with the promise to buy them back at a later time. If I think GameStop's gonna go down to $10 and I sell the shares at 50 bucks, I buy them back at $10, I make $40 a share. But what happens if that price goes up? If the price goes up, I still have to buy the shares back. So if GameStop goes to $100, I still have to buy the shares back. If it goes to $150, I still have to buy the shares back. So what people have noticed is these entities are shorting stocks. But like I said, they have to buy the shares back if it goes up. So when these Reddit people, they caught on to it and they started buying a bunch of these, these stocks that are highly shorted causing these hedge funds to have to buy the shares back. So if the, the common people are buying it, forcing hedge funds to buy it, what's that gonna do to the price? It's gonna shoot it up. So that's kind of what we're seeing with Clove and Workhorse, AMC, GameStop, and all these good stocks. So what I did is I went through a list of all these highly shorted stocks. And I said, okay, which of these are undervalued? Which are being beaten up a little too much? I looked at their option contracts. I looked at their volume. I said, which, which have the most room to grow? You see, when you chase a stock that's already ran three, four hundred percent, the risk to reward just isn't there because you're buying at all time highs. But when you buy these early in their breakouts, that's how you see these two, three hundred percent gains. Today, I have a few stocks that I like going for these meme stocks. And if I'm going to take a chance, these are the ones I'm going to take a chance on. And a quick note, guys, 
I'm not investing long term into these stocks. These aren't stocks I'm gonna go put in my long term portfolio and hold for 20 years. These are stocks that I'm trying to play the momentum on, as in I see momentum going upwards. I'm gonna play that momentum up, whether that's shares or options. Eventually, I'm gonna take profits because, I mean, that's the whole reason I'm getting into these trades. But keep this in mind when you're playing these guys. These aren't 10, 20 year holds. Unless you like the company. If you like the company, that's perfectly fine. The way I'm playing these, I'm just going to ride the momentum up and slowly take profits as it goes up. So the first stock on my list today is Workhorse, ticker symbols WKHS. And I'm sure you guys have heard of Workhorse already, but if you haven't, that's okay. Workhorse specializes in the delivery of electric trucks and uh, drones, right? So they target your UPSs, your FedExs, Amazon, all that good stuff. Clearly EV is the future, so there's a big sector for this, right? And if we head over to the charts for Workhorse, let me show you what Workhorse has done in the past. So last year, Workhorse was sitting at around, I would say, what is that, $3, right? And you see this huge run Workhorse has had. It ran all the way up to $40 in February. And you're seeing this big crash, and you're probably wondering what happened. Workhorse lost out on a deal with the USPS for $6 billion, and short sellers beat this one all the way down to $7 where it finally found support. As you can see, we've bounced and we've been trading in this little range right here as it's been trying to break out. Our MACD down here is curling up, which is showing momentum, and RSI is curling up as well. What, how I'm going to be playing Workhorse, over $20, I think we almost have a clean shot towards $28. If we get near the $20 mark, I'll probably start you know, looking a month out at some $30 calls, $25 calls, as long as they're not over expensive and they're not nothing crazy, right? Big thing here is manage your risk, guys. Don't oversize and overexpose yourself. Treat these as lottos because as much as it can go up, it can go down and you can lose your money and that's the last thing we want. So make sure you manage your risk with this one. And the next stock on my list, guys, is Clover Health, ticker symbol CLOV. And if you're not sure what Clover Health is or what they do, that's okay. I can give you a quick breakdown of what the company is. Basically, Clover Health is a company that focuses on data analytics to disrupt the healthcare industry. And they have this thing called the Clover Assistant. And basically, this is what the Clover Assistant does. Physicians receive the Clover Assistant software, which leverages data like lab results, prescriptions lists, and previous diagnosis to suggest possible interventions to physicians. As more physicians use this Clover Assistant, the smarter the AI becomes, which is key. This is more of a proactive way to tackle healthcare issues instead of a reactive way. You see, Clover Assistant looks to tackle the issues in their beginning stages before the, the treatment becomes more expensive. And if you note here, the company disclosed that their software decreased hospital visits by 22% and emergency room visits by 23%. This allows Clover Health to save its customers money because they can now charge cheaper services since they're tackling issues in the beginning stages. But enough about the stock, let's go ahead and look at the chart and let me show you guys what I'm seeing. So looking at the chart for Clover Health, you can see it's been trading in this range uh, around $10, got all the way up to $16, been beaten down since, but today we had this huge gap up. I think over $25, Clover can see $32 and then $40. One good thing to note here is that insiders can't sell their shares until the stock's been trading over $30 for 90 days straight. I think that's something huge to note, and this actually may be a good hold. I don't know if you want to hold at an average cost of $22, but in the long term, I think this is a good company to buy. They've seen 45% revenue growth year over year. They have no debt and they're groundbreaking in their industry, which I think are three major key components to success. And the last stock for our video guys is more of a trade. The company's name is Context Logic. The ticker is W-I-S-H for Wish. So now looking at the chart, you can see that Wish traded all the way up to $30 back in February, and since then it's been on a down slope. Now this is a highly shorted stock, but if you look today, it broke from $7 all the way to this little $11, $12 resistance line right here with huge, huge volume. Over $16, this stock can get to $20. This is a highly shorted stock. The, um, the contracts aren't too expensive yet. They're not too pricey. I think there's still some good value here. Taking a look at the weekly chart, this looks like this just wants to break out. Keep this one on watch, guys. I think over 16, we can see 20, 24, and ultimately 30 if the momentum continues. Guys, and I just wanna stress the importance of risk management. Risk management is so important when investing and trading because you have to keep in mind everyone's risk is different. Yours may be different than that of mine and vice versa. If you don't have a plan for these trades or you're not sure what you're doing in these trades, most likely you shouldn't be in them. If you want more and live up-to-date information on these tickers, make sure to follow me on Twitter and check out the Discord. I'll have both of those links down below. 
Again, the Discord is free. You have, there's no risk to joining. I'm in there talking with other members. We're collabing, sharing what we're seeing, trades that we're in, and all that good stuff. But with that, guys, thank you so much for checking out the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. My name is Khalil, and thank you for watching Iman Invest.